Right here at the gate, we had a little bit of Bermuda trying to creep in. I do not want to use that as part of the mulch, so I'm throwing that outside the garden. And by pulling this back, I'm making sure we don't have any roots coming in. And we look pretty good here. And just look how beautiful that soil is. And you can see just exactly how thin it had gotten right here at the gate. So this is how I make mulch. Just take a bucket and a claw. Just get a little bit of wood chips in the bucket. It's not very heavy. And there's some mulch. Some of yesterday's dried grass clippings. Do the same thing we did in containers right around your plants. It's the same principle and you just mix it up. And in a container garden, this is how easy it is. Just take your wood chips, just kind of lay them in there. You don't need this nearly as deep as you do in the garden but it will help hold the moisture in your containers. Do the same thing with the raised bed. You can either use wood chips, use a little bit of the dry grass that we just mowed, just put them in around your plants, tuck them in, we're good to go. It works exactly the same way in your containers as it does in the garden. Helps feed that life. And you can mix it up, mix and match a little bit. A little wood chips, a little grass. all perfect that's all you got to do or you can take your trusty lawn bag hold it open with one hand take your heel spread it open a little bit with your other heel just lay some leaves between your feet times just by holding it down with your heel that makes bagging that up pretty easy There are a couple things we can do with this. We can just tie this off as is, poke a couple holes in it, set it off to the side and let it become leaf mold. Or, since it's only part way full, you're going to use it right now. Stepping on it makes crushed up leaves. And if you get real ambitious, you take a pitchfork and get some hay in a bigger container. We're just going to mix it all together. I'm going to use old male and vacuumed up Riley hair. I'm also going to use the bag. I'm just fold that down. I'm using it right here at the entrance. We kind of spread this out a little bit. All right. One little piece of grass there. We got a little bit of wood chips left. So we just kind of spread that out on top of that. We had just a little bit of grass left in the box. Just kind of spread that over. And then our leaves that we crushed up, put that on top. Just kind of spread that on top. Just a little bit of hay. 
just kind of spread that out a little bit. And you know what? We've thickened our mulch back up. And there really is no order in which you want to do this. I just mix it all together. Four inches thicker, thicker to keep the weeds out, feed the life in the soil. But like I say, I don't have to know how electricity works to know the light comes on. And you don't have to bring wheelbarrows in at a time. You can bring half buckets. I mean, I just work for a few minutes and I got a nice little pile right here. And you can do this too. And if you want to learn more about the deep mulch, click that link and I'll meet you right back here in the garden. And if you want to learn about the living soil, click that link and I'll meet you right back here in the garden. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.